My name is Kayan Grogan. I attend San Xavier High School, and here's my presentation on the battle between olive oil and black eyed peas. To begin, we have to answer the question of who is olive oil. Well, olive oil's secondary name is Olea Europea L. It has many beneficial properties, especially on the health factor, since it's more healthy than other oils, for example, canola oil, and it is seen in moisturizers, soaps, and as we all know, in cooking. Second question is who is black eyed peas? Black eyed peas' secondary name is Vega unguiculata subs, and it contains many vitamins, considering that it is a vegetable, and it's grown in hot climates with an abundance of water. So what is the plan for this experiment? Well, there'll be five groups in which these plants will be grown. Group one will be the control group, so it will have no oil, while group two to five will get five millilitres of oil, increasing in increments. By the end of the experiment, I hypothesize that if the plant receives 50 millilitres of oil or more, then it will not grow. And here is my trial one data. Before I get to discuss this, we have to consider all the other trials that came before it. Before this trial, there were five other experiments that happened to have failed. In the first five, they could have failed due to too hot of a weather, too cold, not enough water, too much water, or the beans were just old. But despite that, I kept trying and finally got to this trial here, which is trial one. As you can see, in group one and four, there are high amounts of plant growth, while group two and three have the lowest amounts. Group one to know was a control group, and group four had 50 milliliters of oil. To conclude, I realized that olive oil in large quantities will hurt the plant growth. This can be seen in group five, where the plant growth was not as high as group four or group one. Also, the control group will always grow stronger and taller, while the other groups will begin to shrivel up if olive oil was added to them. In the control group, the stems were definitely more sturdy, while in all the other groups, for example, group three, the plant itself began to shrivel up and kind of crunch down and was very, very short. My project can serve as a mini example of what can happen in our reality. Oil, for example, oil spills or motor oil, has bad and negative effects on our earth. If you start to take precautions and care for our earth more in the present, it'll have a better effect on our earth in the future. And that is my presentation.